Welcome back everybody to another video. Today we're going to be doing a back workout. It's going to be all back and nothing else. Today we got four exercises that you may have or haven't done before that you may have in your programs or only have heard about. But before we get started, you know the drill. We're going to be warming up. We're going to be doing some scapular retractions and lat activations. All right, so get warmed up and get ready to follow along. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit Alright, so here what we're doing is we're doing face pulls with a resistance band and to a overhead press all right the biggest thing that's happening here is as we press up the bands are pulling so we want to make sure that we keep them pressing straight up control it on the way down and return and repeat Alright, our first exercise is going to be rack pulls. So if you've never done these before, what you want to do is make sure that the bar is set at the middle of your kneecap or just above it. You want to get in a position where you have a flat back between your hips and your shoulders. Straight arms, chest up right, chest up forward, chest up high, chin up, everything up. And we're going to stand up with it. It's just that simple. But what I want to do here is coach this movement up a little bit more with a little more description. So here's a back view. And as you can see, we're not squeezing too much into the glutes. We're also not retracting the scapula. We're not pulling the shoulders back. We're really just pulling the bar into our thighs as we stand up. We have a neutral spine from top to bottom. And we're just standing up with it. The same as if we were doing a deadlift off of the ground. Except we don't have as much movement in our hips. All right. It's a very simple exercise. What you see is what you get with this one. It's not overly complicated, guys. All right, guys, this next exercise is one of my favorite for backs. We'll be using a trap bar or a hex bar, whichever one you call it, inside of the T-bar row um, landmine attachment. So this is performed just the same as a T-bar row would be, except for we don't have the bar underneath the weight. We're actually going to be gripping this outside, right around where the uh, bar starts to bend and on top of the weight. That way we're able to keep our hands on top and pull our elbows a little bit higher. As you can see, these big 45 pound plates are hitting my chest. So if you had 25s or 25s closer to you and then 45s further out, you'd be able to get more horizontal extension. But you know, for this exercise, if you've never tried it before, this is a great variation for what you've already been doing. And as you can see here, I'm getting a little bit loose, whatever for this heavier set. And there's a 25 that's closer, so I kind of push the weights out a little bit. But going forward, you know, maybe using 25s all the way around would be a little bit better. Um, but you definitely will get more elbow extension behind the body using this versus the traditional T-bar roll where you're pulling to the center of your chest. All right, next up, I like to follow that exercise up with doing some chest supported dumbbell rows. And so there's a few key things to take away from this particular exercise. We already know about the angle of the bench, but more importantly, we want to learn about the angle of the dumbbells. So the angle or the ends of the dumbbells are not straightforward. As you can see, there's a slight turn in them. There will be another video coming up next to show you that a little bit better, but there's a slight turn in them where they're facing each other. 
so that we can pull closer into our center. See how I turn those dumbbells there? And then we're going to pull down and then up. And so what I mean by down, and you'll see it in the next video, imagine laying on our back and remember to activate the lats, we pull down. So if we were laying on our back, this motion would start with us going down and then pulling back in order to target those lats. If we were to pull straight up, then we'll be hitting the rear delts, the rhomboids, teres muscles, things that we're really not targeting. But by pulling down and back, we are targeting those lat muscles. So here's another example. Here it goes, down, back. It's a little bit of an arcing motion, nothing that's super exaggerated. Um, but again, down, back, squeeze those lats. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes And we're gonna finish this workout with some gorilla rolls If you've never done these before, they're great for reinforcing the idea of driving that elbow Pretty much to your hip pocket down and back And if you're having lower back tightness, stiffness, or pain This gives you a little bit of reprieve And so I like to use these with kettlebells instead of dumbbells Bells gives me more of a natural grip, the neutral grip. Um, but feel free to try however you want. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this workout. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. See you at the next one.